Hey guys, Garage Maxed out here. Uh, today I want to show you two things you absolutely must have if you have a wooden instrument like this clarinet here. Uh, before I get started, if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you get notifications when I post cool new videos. Uh, and we'll go ahead and jump in. This is going to be kind of a one take. Uh, I got this for Christmas and I actually didn't know that I needed it. Essentially what it is, it's a cigar uh, humidor. Uh, so it's used for cigars, kind of keeping them at the right humidity level so that the tobacco doesn't dry out. Um, and I was going to use it for reeds. Now, my LeBlanc clarinet here uh, has been kind of all around the country with me, various humidity levels, lots of changes. It's, it's, it's kind of old at this point uh, now as well. Um, but if anybody's had a wooden instrument before, and maybe you found this video because your instrument is doing the same thing, I want to show you. Uh, this is the bell for my clarinet. And you'll see two things happen when a wooden instrument goes into a very dry environment. The first of which is this ring right here will be able to be moved, right? And I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the video, but this ring is moving. And this was the first uh, this is the first thing that started to happen to this clarinet and it was a little bit concerning. I read online, hey, you know, don't worry about it, it'll, it'll even itself out. Um, and I was kind of exploring like, do I need to glue this thing back in place or use shellac or whatever? Uh, and then slowly but surely in the drier climate, a second and worse thing was happening. And that is this right here. This is the tenon ring for this wood. Now, if this is happening to your clarinet, you want to make sure that you do not put it together. If you have the, if the ring is this loose and you put this together, essentially what you're doing is you're forcing your clarinet into this, into this wood part right here and it's going to crack the wood. Uh, now, luckily, this one has not gotten that bad. However, my barrel itself uh, is, you know, I now use this uh, Bakun one mainly, but, but the stock barrel for this LeBlanc got really bad. Both rings were falling off and it wasn't even like this one where you could go like this and it would stay on. It would actually just fall off. And I thought, hey, why, why don't I put that inside of this humidor and see if it will fix the problem. And I want to show you uh, two, two things. One, the first thing that you guys need, I said you need two things. The first thing that you'll need is one of these little humidity readers. Uh, and I got these for really, really cheap. I, I, have, I have like 50 of these things running around the house now because uh, I, I bought a big pack to just place them around and see the varying humidity levels in the house. Uh, but the second thing you'll need is, is uh, one of these packs inside and a, and a Tupperware container. So let me go ahead and, and show you one, what this has done throwing a bunch of stuff in here just because it, it's, it works really, really well. A couple of barrels. This is the barrel for this clarinet. And here's, here's the second thing that you need. This is, this is the magic here, this Bovita uh, two-way humidity pack. Now, there are a lot of different opinions online of what humidity you need specifically for certain instruments. I see most of the clarinet boards saying you need something like the, the mid 50s. This one is actually a 69% pack. However, the, the, the reading inside this Tupperware, before I open this up, was 57, right? So 57% humidity out of a 69% pack. Uh, now this isn't intended to be a review on how closely Bovita hits their, their rated humidity, uh, but did just want to point it out that if you're kind of concerned about going too high, um, I haven't had any issues using a 69% pack. So let me show you the results here. Now this barrel has been in this box for probably about a week now, and I've just been checking on it just randomly. Both of these rings, like I, I literally can't move them. They are firmly in place and they were both tip it upside down and it would fall out. So the wood has definitely expanded uh, and it's expanded back to where it's actually holding those rings. The rings are holding the wood. Uh, it's not gonna over expand. And now I actually feel comfortable putting this back on the clarinet. Now that said, obviously I'm not gonna put this clarinet back together until I do the same thing with this. And this is where the cool thing about these Bovita packs come in place. So one, you can get these Bovita packs in varying sizes. You can get them for your case. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use just another Tupperware because obviously this will not fit in a cigar humidor, right? Even this way, it's, it, it's, too, it's too wide. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and treat this the same way that I did. Um, 
And overall, I just want to show you guys how cool these packs are, what they can do, uh, and these little things if you weren't aware. Again, myself and my ignorance, I didn't realize that one, you need this in, in a dry environment, and two, uh, it can actually work wonders for you. Uh, as you can see, I've gone ahead and put like all of my reeds in here from different instruments. Uh, it just makes them feel kind of it's hard to describe, a little bit softer in, in the mouth to start. Um, I feel like it makes them play better. Now maybe that's placebo, uh, but I've been really, really impressed with the impact that it's had on this barrel because I was very concerned that um, I, I kind of had a goner here. You know, I've had this clarinet for, for over a decade and, and I, I really didn't want to see it go by the wayside or, or have to do some hokey fix. You know, I see people use you know, balloons over top of it and just weird things. So really cool that this really inexpensive setup was able to do this to my wooden clarinet. Um, and I, I, would, I would actually say that you need this. If you have a wooden instrument, clarinet or otherwise, if you don't have some sort of humidity control, um, I highly recommend it. I've gone to the lengths of having one of these things for all my small pieces and then I've got a humidifier over on the side of the room here uh, and again a bunch of these little testers all around the room, all around the house so I can keep an eye on the humidity levels um, and it, it's given me a lot of confidence that out here in the Arizona desert I'm not going to have any issues with my wooden clarinet. So again, two things that you guys are going to need this little uh, little meter here and then a Bovita pack to, to suit your need. For my clarinet, I'm using a 69%. Uh, again, a lot of people recommend mid to high 50s. I'll put some links in the description. Hope this one take helps somebody uh, if you're having the same issues with a clarinet or similar instrument. Uh, and that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching.